Were you ever in the situation that you bought this nice design sink and after a few years the sink finish would start to corrode? Probably. And when you went to your dealer and asked for new sink finish, he didn't have them unless you bought a whole new sink, huh? It happens to most people. Well, don't worry. In this video, I will show you how to make sink finis. And perhaps if you pay attention, maybe next time, you can make them yourself. So this is the thing we want to replicate. Let's go over to the first step. Take your measurements. Write them down in your sketch. And you also want to know what kind of thread the thingy has. So, uh, therefore, we use this handy tool. It has a lot of different sizes of metrical pitches. You just see which one of the pitches fits the thread, and then you can find your pitch. In this case, it has a pitch of 1.25 millimeter. Now make that sketch digital with the help of a drawing program. In this case I used a free program called DraftSite and save it as a DWG. Now put that DWG in your favorite or less favorite CAD CAM software and this is where you determine what kind of tools, tool paths and RPMs you're going to apply to mill your sink thingy. Now you can do a simulation And if everything is okay, you can generate your NC code. Okay, here you can see the NC code. It is basically just a text file which contains all the information for the machine. For example, what kind of tool that is going to be used, the RPM of the spindle, which in this case is 7500, the applied depth of the used tool, circular motion along with the feed, etc. And now send that file to your trusty old CNC machine. World, the time has come to push them. So I loaded up the tools. I have programmed the reference point for the machine. Push the button. So now it's time to cut some thread. For that we use a latte and our homebrew 60 degree metrical thread cutter. We measure the pitch of 1.25 millimeter and that means that the distance between the two tops of the thread is 1.25 millimeters. So when our dear sink thingy makes one rotation the chisel has to move 1.25 mm sideways. This is accomplished by adjusting the transmission for the movement of the chisel. You can look for the right combination of gearing wheels on the table which is mostly somewhere on the latte. And in this case we use this combination of gearing wheels. See if it fits.
so I have sent them to a company who hopefully made a nice layer of chrome on our sink fins. And I am very curious. Ooh. 